Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you hear any background noise, it's because my sons are, well, alive and well. <laughs> so that's a good sign. Uh, so you can see I have a Lake Superior stone sitting here in front of me. It is about five inches, six inches across. Um, and I've sketched on a moon. That's all you got to do. doesn't have to be a perfect moon. Just try and do the best crescent moon that you can and paint it in black. I'm using matte black acrylic paint because, yeah, I just find that everything sticks to it really well. Whatever needs to stick to it. <laughs> so dots, um, pigment powder, all that kind of stuff. It looks really good over top of black. So you know I'm going to be using gold. I am currently outlining my moon with gold. Um, I believe there's like a new moon in Aries or something. Does someone want to correct me? I'm in Aries. My birthday's on the 29th. Um, I am hoping, really hoping that I'm going to get to celebrate this year. I haven't celebrated my birthday in a long time. Um, and this year I think... I owe myself a little bit of a celebration. <laughs> it has been one heck of a year so far. I thought 2020 was bad um, with the pandemic hitting us and everything. But, oh, I got through that way easier than I'm getting through 2023. I'll tell you that. Um, I have my PayPal in the description of my videos, just so you know, if you do donate to my channel in any way, um, YouTube takes 30% of that before I even see it. Um, so if you do want to donate to me, PayPal is probably the best way right now. Um, this is my PayPal here. Now I have outlined my moon with gold and then outlined it with black. So now it's popping off the rock. I've used a circular item from my desk to put like a a semicircle there and now I've put big dots around that semicircle now I've got out my small dotting tool you can also use a toothpick and I've just got one bigger dot sitting on top and I'm just gonna walk these gold dots around so I usually steal from the bigger dots uh, saves me from having to go back and forth to the gold paint in the tray. If I got extra paint on any of these dots here, I use them up. It's just the way I do things. <laughs> I like to scrimp and save with my paint. Have you seen how much this paint costs? At Michael's, it's like 20 bucks for this gold paint. And uh, I make it last as long as I can. Any paint colors I'm using will be listed in the description of this video, as usual. Or unless I forget, but if I do, please remind me and I'll put it in there. I'm just doing a little bit of cleanup, making sure that all of my gold lines are not too thick or bumpy or clumpy. Um, and now I'm going in between these type of like wishbones that I drew, that I painted. Now I've moved it so you can't see anything but my beautiful purple nails. <laughs> so I'm actually not working this fast. I'm going to slow it down a bit. I've added some pin striping. Super simple. And I'm going to put a little lump and another little lump and another bump. And yeah, those are kind of like little petals or frills. Kind of looks lacy almost. And I'm just cleaning it up as I go along. It's much easier for me to do that sometimes. Now I did walk some little dots towards that pinstriping area. You can see that coming from the wishbones. And then I put bigger dots on the end of there. So I just cleaned up a little bit there. I'm putting some bigger dots on top of these little frills, I guess I'm gonna call them. I don't really know. I don't really have a name for any of the stuff that I do. I just make it up as I go along and you're allowed to call it whatever you want. <laughs> you do whatever you want. Um, this is the same thing that you've seen me do before. We fill it in with all gold and black. We clean it up, make it look the way we want it to look. And then we can add color or different mediums of different kinds. So I'm adding like a little hot, a little hot here, a little hot there. 
And yeah, that's just going to be pretty much it. I am going to add a couple of dots, I think, going from the heart to the point of the moon on either side. Um, just making sure that my hearts don't look terrible, cleaning them up a little bit. You see the bigger dots that I've put down inside those wishbones. I'm adding black on top of that so it looks like a, like a little gold ring sitting there. And I'm putting black dots in these bigger dots. Wait till your gold's dry before you do that. Adding a little stripe here and some dots. I'm just walking the dots up to the point of the moon so they're bigger at first and then as we run out of paint, the dots get smaller. And there we go. I'm gonna let this dry really good before I start adding color to it. But I'm just gonna take my circular item again. Whatever you have that will make a circle or if you can freehand it, Congratulations. I don't like to freehand it. It takes me too long. Too much fixing afterwards. <laughs> and I am just putting little tiny dots like using a toothpick type of thing and uh, going over that line that I just drew with pencil. It's just to fill in some of that space. I think I made that too big and uh, yeah, I wasn't sure what to do with it if it was too much space there. So I <laughs> added that. Uh, I am still fixing things up. I'm uh, making sure that it's the way I want it to be and letting it dry properly so that I can add color in it without messing anything up. Um, this rock is going to change a little bit when I resin it, but I have some bad news. I don't have a video of it resined. Uh, because of the life situation I'm in right now, I didn't catch a video of it resined, but I do have a photo. Um but I promise you it looks just absolutely gorgeous, just like it looks in the photos. Um, but it is going to change a little bit when I resin it because this rock is going to stand out a little bit more. It's not going to look so blah, boring. Um, so I'm starting off filling in with color. Don't worry about the sizes of your dots. I'm using like a, not my smallest pointed dotter, but uh, like one step up. So they're fairly small, but they're not all the same size. And I'm not worried about that. Some of them are going to join together and be friends, be soulmates, um, sisters, twins, whatever. Um, and that's okay. Some of them look like little logs, little, little cute, little colorful logs, but that's okay. It all just kind of looks good at the end. We don't have to worry about it. So I'm put moon yellow, pure pumpkin, and now like a melon color. So it's like a pink melon. Uh, and it's just kind of like an ombre effect going from one part to the next in that semicircle area. I'm also going to add some magenta at the very edge here. So you can do whatever colors you want to do. Um, but if you liked how it looked in the thumbnail when you clicked on this video, um, those are the colors I've used. So I'm going to list them in the description. That way, if you want to do it exactly the same, that's your option. Um, so now I'm going to move on to some patina. Um, it's like a light, almost like a minty, but more blue. Uh, I'm going to be adding some white with that uh, working its way up. I like to call it bubbling. It looks like it's kind of bubbling up um, like pop at a bottom of a glass. So I kind of bubble up the, the dots and then I'm going to add some white dots and bubble them up to the next spot. And, and it's, it's hard for me to explain, but that's my non-educated terminology because <laughs> I am self-taught people. If you didn't know that you do now, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm not always strange, but I'm always fun. <laughs> Or at least I try to be. So now I am bubbling up the white up to the next section, which is like the pinstriping area. And just be careful going around your design and just put dots where you can see black space. Try not to go over top of your gold, but you can fix up some of your gold afterwards once all the dots are dry. So now this is a very bright lime green. I'm putting it in these little frills 
that are attached to the pinstriping. Just using a dotting tool that is very, very tiny, like the end of a toothpick for those ones, because it's smaller areas. Always be careful with the size of dotting tool that you're using. Um, this one's light lavender, same thing, just dotting in the area that's black. I'm avoiding the heart. I'm going to do something else with the heart, but I'm going to surround the heart with this light lavender. And I am using my dotting needle. Um, it's very, very small at the end, just like a toothpick. So I can get in and around all those little areas without globbing paint everywhere. And also if you need your paint to be less thick, like it's not dotting well, or it's like leaving like little peaks of paint everywhere, just add a little bit of water. As long as you're using water-based acrylic paint, just add a little drip of water to it, stir it up really good. And you should be able to use it a little bit better. All right. So you've seen me do this before. I've got my UV gel. I've put UV gel in the hearts. I'm going to put UV gel in the hearts. These normally for nails. First, I'm putting it in these little black dots. Then I'm going to put it in the hearts as well as in the pin striping. So you'll see that I'm going to be using like a chrome powder or nail powder, mirror powder. I will list these in the description as well. You can get many different colors. So I'm actually going to use more of a flake, like a, a chrome flake that switches colors. It's a multi, multi color chrome. Um, so I just rub it onto the areas where I've put the UV gel, which is on those dots. And then I just use like a little fan brush or something to dust off any extra flake. And then I can move on to the pin striping, the other dots and the hearts. So I'm going to be putting this chrome powder on all of these little areas. So you're going to see that happen quickly. You use whatever colors you want. You don't have to use chrome powder. You can actually just use glitter paint or metallic paint, or you can leave it black. It's totally up to you, but I really like the look of chrome. Um, I really like it. So if I can utilize that in any of my stones, I do, as you can probably see uh, by most of my tutorials and my Etsy shop. <laughs> so you can't really see what I'm doing right now, but I promise you I'm just putting on this on the hearts after I've already cured it under the UV lamp. It's like a color shifting goes from like a cherry red to a maroon to a gold to a green like it's very strange but it shifts beautifully and you'll see it in just a minute. I'm also putting the flakes of chrome on these dots here at the end and I'm pretty sure I'm going to incorporate some more yellow again. We started off with moon yellow. I think I'm going to finish with moon yellow um, but first I'm going to do these dots not sure what color I'm going to use yet, but you do what you want. Sometimes you can just leave those dots black and then add like a Swarovski crystal here and there uh, to give it some extra sparkle. Um, I'm just making you guys sit here and look at a funny background <laughs> with an X on it. You know, that X is actually so that I keep the rock in the view of you guys and I don't take it out of you, but clearly I didn't do that. So <laughs> I have chromed up these hearts. I am adding moon yellow now. So you're going to see that happen gradually. And then I'm going to add the picture of it resined at the end of the video. I might, I might have a couple of things to show you. I really don't think I do. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I don't have a lot to show you. Um, but I wanted to get this out for you right away. Um, while I still have it on my phone, I don't want to lose it for any reason. So I wanted to get this up and out ready for you guys. If you wanted to make this dotted Zen Tangle moon, it's absolutely gorgeous. The colors are gorgeous. I'm going to put my signature on it, which is probably going to be changing soon. Um, since I'm getting a divorce, <laughs> wish me luck people. I'm going to show you the resin copy now. Guess what? Surprise, surprise, I found a video on my phone of it resin. 
I am so happy about that. You would not believe when things go my way a little bit, I celebrate. <laughs> so here it is, the beautiful Lake Superior Stone. You can now appreciate. It's more of a green, greenish yellow. Um, there's so much beauty in this stone. I'm so glad that I didn't cover the whole thing up with paint. Um, but we just put a beautiful dotted colorful moon. Here's a picture of it under better lighting. It's very green and yellow. Gorgeous, gorgeous stone. I love you guys. I appreciate every single one of you who have donated to my PayPal. I'm going to be writing a list of names and thanking you all personally on one of my up and coming tutorials. Thank you. Hit the like button, hit the share. It's a free way to help me keep painting. I will see you again soon. Bye.